Good afternoon, everybody. How are you going? Hope you're having a good Monday. Um, I'm uh, just come out of theatre and uh, I, uh, I'm doing some paperwork. And I'm just reading this letter here from a colleague, and I thought it might be something interesting to to share with you guys. I have, of course, redacted a lot of the words. Um, that uh, would give rise to any identification apart from my name of course and uh, where we are at City of the Coast Neurosurgery and the Functional Level Training Centre but what I wanted to share with our um, uh, subscribers and people who follow our program um, is that we are slowly uh, getting the message out there and I have been working on this message for a very long time that there needs to be a paradigm shift in the way that we rehabilitate um, uh, spine related pain um, you may or may not be aware um, National Health Registry data has been uh, released fairly recently saying that um, 3.5 just over 3.5 million people in Australia are suffering uh, chronic pain and around half of those people have spine related chronic pain that's we're, we're talking about around 1.5 million people with spine related pain um, uh, that are struggling to control those symptoms uh, with existing conventional pain management and physical rehabilitation um, surgery is not the answer to addressing spine related pain um, surgery may be necessary for people with spine related pain but surgery does not reverse uh, um, back pain or neck pain because uh, the primary cause of pain is functional surgery is a 100% structural repair so case in point here we have a patient um, referred to us now we're starting to get more referrals from other surgeons who are realizing that conventional therapy does not address the functional movement problems that are driving pain symptoms and here we are dear David um, I'd like your opinion uh, whether Mr. So and so would benefit from functional movement therapy. It's a functional movement training centre. He had a discectomy, uh, a microdiscectomy surgery. Good resolution of the nerve symptoms, ridiculous means good resolution of his sciatic nerve pain, but he continues to suffer back pain. Um, and uh, and as I was saying, the surgery is a structural repair, but the back pain is a functional problem. And you cannot expect a structural surgery that addresses structure to reverse the functional movement cause of the back pain symptoms. And hence, um, imperative to your overall management of your uh, your symptoms is implementing a, uh, a therapy that reverses the movement dysfunction and movement dysfunction does not get reversed with core strengthening or exercise or um, uh, manual therapy um, it most definitely does not get reversed with um, couch based therapies or um, uh, stretching um, type of approaches um, even though that really uh, is what a lot of um, treatment consists of after spine surgery or um, uh, to help patients who have uh, pain but don't require surgery because the structure has not deteriorated yet that seems to be what um, uh, most people receive when they are in pain and um, and the consequence of that is what our statistics are showing us with the uh, epidemic of spine related pain in our society so the answer to this letter is absolutely um, this is exactly what the patient requires after having discectomy surgery we need to reverse the functional disease um, 
uh, I have mentioned the functional movement clinic to him and he's interested to see if it may be, a, may be something which affords him benefit in terms of further rehabilitation. So he's already done some rehabilitation but he's, and he's still in pain, but he has not done any functional movement uh, therapy. So this is the next uh, most important step to uh, follow through with. So, um, yeah, it was just nice to um, see that the uh, the wider um, uh, the wider field of surgeons are starting to realise that um, functional movement uh, needs to be addressed to achieve fantastic outcomes, and we, I am delighted to be. Um, looking after other surgeons, uh, spine patients. I'm not the only person doing spine surgery. There's lots of spine surgery happening in town and I'm delighted to help these other surgeons uh, in town uh, rehabilitate their patients at the uh, uh, Functional Movement Training Centre because we're the only people that do it. We're the only people that deliver functional movement therapy in uh, Brisbane and, of course, we have a, our service on the Sunshine Coast as well and trying to slowly develop some more around around Queensland but it's a very slow process and we of course are chasing high quality movement therapy which is not easy which is not an easy skill to um, to learn okay I hope that uh, is of some value to, to people so um, thanks for listening bye bye